Shanika was in the hospital for three weeks battling COVID-19, having spent one of the weeks in an intensive care unit. Throughout this time, he says he had mixed feelings, on the one hand fear, but on the other a feeling of hope. And he chose to hold on to hope to get him through the ordeal. Messages of hope and prayers from his family, friends and colleagues also kept him alive, he says. He describes his near-death experience as a miracle. I can't explain it. I can only say it's a miracle. But what I can tell you, I, 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 I was clinging fast to hope. And I rejected fear. That's all I can explain to you. But as to say is what saved me, I think only God knows. I must say maybe I was at the borderline of death in life. He encouraged those experiencing COVID-19 not to give up hope and family and friends to be a source of strength. Shanika, who was just recently released from the hospital, is fully recouping at home. Let us support those who are going through or those who are battling coronavirus. Let us give them adequate support because by supporting them, we will help them to hold fast to life. And maybe they will get a second opportunity. And to those who are battling coronavirus, the experience might not be the same. But when you get the support from friends, relatives, and acquaintance, use it to build a foundation of hope. Another survivor of COVID-19, headman Rudolf Vedbien from the Komanin tribe, told NBC News that it was an experience he does not wish on anyone and therefore urges people to adhere to set regulations for their own safety. So I went through this exercise for 14 days. You don't eat. You are sweating. You have no smell of food. You are in pain. I don't wish for anyone to get these viruses because the the place where you are going to be admitted, there are people screaming for their lives. They are begging for the Almighty God to have mercy upon them. It takes time. As I'm sitting here, I can still feel the symptoms, the withdrawal symptoms in my body because it's not going immediately away from me. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventu.